All right, I'm back. I was able to get five wins on all these guys. I also unlocked all the cards. So now I'm playing an old school Monarch deck. Let's see here. You've got Vampire Genesis, Eternal Flame Emperor, Ocean Dragon Lord, Neo Daedalus, and Helios Duos Megist. You know, I couldn't find Macros Cosmo on my deck list. I really wanted to make a Macro Monarch deck, but... Oh well, I've just got to settle for a normal Monarch deck. <laughs> D1CK. <laughs> I don't think that name will ever stop being funny. First to go. Alright, so opening hand. Nice, I can go straight into. M Oops. Straight into Mother Grizzly. This is how I get out Treeborn Frog quick, since Swamp Frog doesn't exist in this era. Aw, oh, goddammit. Shit. Crap. Crap. Ugh. I gotta watch out for Nobleman to cross out now. I totally forgot that was even a card. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's a. That's a shitty mill. Ooh, Treeborn Frog. Okay, actually, you know what? I could... Monster Re... Oh, he can't be special summoned from the graveyard. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, the Twin-Headed Behemoth can come out. This card actually used to be limited at one point. Because if it's a great effect to come back from the graveyard with a thousand life attack, once it's destroyed by battle. And Goblin Zombie searches out Curse of Vampire. Oh, it's a crappy vampire deck before there was legit vampire support. End phase. Actually, you know what? This game music's kind of loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. There we go. I can barely hear myself over that. Alright, so I've got two Twin-Headed Behemoths out. He's trying to tribute something. I don't have... I could Monster Reborn now, but it's just for his stupid card. So I'm just going to send out my second Twin-Headed Behemoth. And go straight into battle phase. Attack this guy. Ah, uh, okay. Note to self. No cards in face down defense position because they'll just get banished with no limit of cross out. Which also used to be limited at one point. Red Generation Zombie, huh? <laughs> I haven't seen that card in forever. And his effect to come back from the grave with only 1,000 attack and defense points. Yay, a monarch, finally. Alright, let's go into the fire monarch. There's only like four monarchs in this game. And none of the good ones. Because <laughs> usually for monarch decks, all you do is use... Um, Caius and Raya's, the Shadow and Wind Monarch, and those two guys aren't in this game yet. Wind Monarch came out a little bit after the rest of the Monarchs did, and the Shadow Monarch came out way later. Actually, I'm, I'm so sure the Wind Monarch should be in this game, but I couldn't find it. I know it came out later than the original ones, because the original ones were just fire, thunder, water, and earth, just those four. And then they came out with the wind one a little bit later. And then the shadow one, shadow and light, and then all the other monarch support came out like last year. But I have Treeborn Frog and four monarchs, so it works. Oh god damn it. Damn it. Crap. Crap baskets. Come on, I need myself a a monarch. One of the good monarchs. Monarch, monarch. Ah, oh, god damn it, another one. <laughs> this doesn't work. I need a monarch. Um, let's see, does he have anything good in his graveyard? Curse of Empire. No. Um, I need to find a way to. I need to draw into an MST or get one of my monarchs. I can't put any of my cards in face down defense position because I'll just get banished. I really want to put out Treeborn Frog. I'm just going to put out this guy in attack mode. And destroy Sangan. I almost ended my turn without doing anything. That would have been bad. I just gotta stall out for a little bit. Okay, she's got a 
Hey, what is that Call of Duty Warrior Lady? That card used to be great. This dude's running a lot of like staples from back in the day. No. Come on. One more try to try to draw a monarch. Give me a monarch. I have a tribute for it. I also have any card. Yes, there we go. This works out just fine because I've got Soul Exchange. So, Soul Exchange. Um, let's steal his Fire Monarch, or my Monarch, I should say. Tribute summon one monster. Let's steal that guy, and then I'll just wait for him to suicide himself into me. Oops, wrong button. Oh, god damn it. Oh, cool, he banished the one card I can't actually use from my graveyard. That actually works out just fine. <sighs> so she destroyed the... Oh, I forgot what it's called already. <laughs> this stupid guy. The twin-headed dragon or whatever his name is. Okay, so I have another soul exchange. This might actually be a good way to get rid of DD Warrior Lady because she is a problem. But I also don't kind of want to do that. I want to force his hand, so I'm going to bring out a Fire Monarch from the graveyard. No effect since it's not normal summoned. And then if this guy's killed, he comes back to life, right? When this card is destroyed, a battle and sent to the graveyard, you can pay five special summon to the field. When this card is special summon, it's increase its attack by 500 points. All right, so I'm not attacking that. <laughs> ah, god damn it, pure maternal. Give me one of my good monarchs already. <laughs> this guy is just making it so difficult for me to do anything. Rio Korean. Let's get rid of DD Warrior Lady right here. Ah, poor Jinzo. Never stood a chance. Mmm, did I use my normal summon yet? No, let's put him down. I know he's just gonna get banished, but I'm tired of waiting for him to use it. We still got this. I still got this. <gasps> Ooh, the Zaborg. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is Cyber Dragon. And then Soul Exchange. Select a monster, let's select this face down card. And then bring out the Thunder Monarch, who will be able to destroy the vampire without activating its effect. Ooh! Looks like he had an annoying card that can't be destroyed by battle. Alright. This guy's giving me a run for my money. Usually I just steamroll through all these guys, but it looks like they're getting a little bit harder now. Oh no! <laughs> this sucks. He actually might be able to kill me. No, he's just gonna kill my Cyber Dragon. God damn it, Cyber Dragon, you're useless. Give me something good, give me something good. Well, it's a monarch, I guess. It's not the worst thing in the world. Mutual destruction. He's totally has the edge on me, damn it. Ooh, lucky for me, he's not drawing anything. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that card is so banned. Ooh, ooh. Let's just put him in attack mode. I need to do some damage to him. Even if it's not a lot. I just need to do it. The smarter choice would probably put in defense mode, but... Those noblemen at crossouts, you never know how much he has. Alright, so I'm not gonna risk this. Even though I do have the Frost Monarch in my hand, I'm just going to blow up his face down card just in case it's something dangerous. It's not though. So I'm gonna go into my Dark Triceratops. Has some nice piercing damage. Two fluffy tokens. And let's finish this game. Wow, one of the 
I don't think I've had a duel that back and forth in forever on this game. Let's see, destroying battle bonus. Damn, that was a lot of destroying battle bonus. They give you a lot of points for tributing, which is pretty nice since this deck does lots of tributing. <laughs> wow, that was a pretty intense duel.